everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you around the Warner Brothers studio tour that's in London. So, um, back in January when they announced that Gringotts Bank was going to open as one of their attractions, I booked tickets straight away, as soon as I could, um, which was for yesterday. So I went, I did record some stuff. So I got tickets for yesterday, it was at half six, so it was quite nice, we got there during daylight, but then as we got to the back lot it was night time, which was nice to see the night bus and the uh, private driving stuff lit up in the dark, so that was cool. Had another great experience at Studio Tour, every time I go it is always amazing, no matter if it's completely different to the time I went before, or just little things, there's always something different that seems to change um, every time I go and this time was even better. Let's just get started.
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed my video. Um, what did you think? Are you? I think if you haven't been, go because it is amazing. Harry Potter fan, whether it's a mighty fan or just you know you like Harry Potter, I'd say definitely go. I think this is the sixth or seventh time I've been, and I think I've been once a year at least since it opened. Even though I've seen it so many times. It still like blows my mind how amazing it is and just the atmosphere of it. It just feels so magical It's got the music and I just I can't well, the Gringotts Bank actually only opened on Saturday I was so excited that I got to go in the first week that it was open. It was just amazing Gringotts Bank like how they've done it is just It's just amazing. I can't even like I just can't even every time I go to that place. I'm just like I love it. I would live there, literally. I would live there. I would go every day of the week. Okay, that might be a bit much. Maybe like once a week. If I lived nearer London, I would be there all the time. I'd be like, 40, it was 43 pounds per for my ticket. I'd definitely worth the money. Definitely worth the money. Especially now that it's like changed and there's so much more to it and it just looks fresher and better, but yeah. I definitely recommend but anyway at the end of the tour there is a shop so um and also throughout the tour there is uh, one at the Hogwarts Express on the station and there is one at Forbidden Forest the only thing is though um, the Hogwarts Express at the station sometimes I think in there they have things that you can't get in the shop at the end and I think it's the same for the Forbidden Forest not everything I mean most of the stuff you can get in the shop at the end but just keep in mind if you're going through and you see something in the Hogwarts Express section that you want to get then I would get it there because I'm not 100% that it's all in the end shop but anyway, Lord, let's not play on my bag I will show you what I bought so I got this bag there was a few things I looked at and I was kind of like I mean there's a lot I could buy but a lot of this stuff is quite pricey for what it is um, I mean, for example, a key ring, a lot of them are about £10, which it's okay. I mean, I do have, when I, the first time I went, I believe I bought the Time Turner. It's this massive metal key ring. I mean, it's good quality key ring. Um, there is so much stuff I could have bought in there, but I, I stopped myself and was like, you don't need that, Tanya. Are you going to use that? Probably not. Let's just not get it. 
but I did have some birthday money left over so I thought you know now's my chance to get something I've never actually got before so the first thing I got was a wand now <laughs> big a fan as I am I've never bought a wand because I always thought 30 pound was a lot for a wand but I thought you know what this year I've got birthday money I'm just gonna go for it because I have about 11 wands but they're all from either Geek Gear I don't think I've got any from Loot Crate or from eBay I think I've got about two from eBay that I've bought for like cosplay before so I thought screw it I'm buying myself a wand so here we have this is my wand. I have Gullet Grindelwald's wand. Yes. I was so torn what wand to get. I even looked them up in the morning and I was like, because I wanted to look at the ones I have. A few of the ones I have are like people's wands. Um, so I've got Fred and George, I've got McGonagall, um, Sirius Black, Snape, Narcissa Malfoy. So I did. I do have a few of the character ones anyway. Um, I was torn between this one and Cedric Diggory's, but then I looked at it in the studio tour and it wasn't actually that cool. Like, it's Cedric Diggory, which is why I wanted to get it, but the wand itself didn't look as fabulous as I thought it might. So I had to go for this one. So you get this lovely um, foily material. There's Yes, it is the Elder Wand. Um, later, um, later to be a Dumbledore's wand. But yes, I bought the Elder Wand with this nice design around it. Um, it is actually really good. I know it's thirty pounds. Um, which to some of you might be well, you know, it's worth it for a wand. Which I mean, yeah, because it was birthday money, I don't mind. If it was my own money, I'd probably be like. Oh, £30 pound is a bit much. Um, but it's actually really nice quality. It's nice and sturdy. He did warn me though, because the tip is very um, small, like thin, to just be careful with it, which is fine because I'm not going to be waving it around like a crazy person. It cost me £30. Pounds. So um, I'm probably not going to take this to Comic Con or any event, anything where I go. I, this will stay in its box probably on my shelf so there's no risk of of hurting it but that is the first thing I bought and it comes in this snazzy box which mind I did notice it kind of annoyed me they have the Harry Potter ones which are you know the characters from the Harry Potter films and then they also have the Fantastic Beast section I was so tempted to get Newt Scamanders but I just didn't look as epic as I thought it was gonna look I looked at the display one and I was just like it just doesn't look as cool as it does in the film when Newt Scamander has it. It's really upset me. But anyway, um, on the boxes for Fantastic Beasts, they have this lovely design on it um, that has like Fantastic Beasts and it's got like gold gilding and everything on for I think Queenie, Tina, Newt, Percival Graves, I think. I mean, his wand was pretty cool. I was tempted to get his wand as well. And then you get Grindelwald's, which is just a black box. And I'm like, mate, show him some love. I know he's the bad guy, but... And I mean, it has got it on the back. It's got, you know, Noble Collection, whose it is. It's got a snazzy back, but then the front just kind of... I feel lets it down. I was, you know, hoping for a nice snazzy... I suppose it looks more like it's from Ollivander's, but it's not from Ollivander's, is it? It's a bloody Elder Wand. So I was expecting a snazzy box, but you know, it's fine, whatever. Anyway, next up, okay, this, I wasn't gonna get this. And then I was like, you know what? I got, oh my God, you can detach the top. Anyway, I kept, I went round the shop about four times because I really wanted to get something that I wouldn't usually buy. A lot of my merch is just kind of like random and I get it from like Geek Gear and <sighs> it's really random stuff. Um, so I wanted to get something that was like a proper replica um, and as <laughs> as replicas go this is probably not the best one I could have purchased but it was cheap, it looks pretty cool and you know it, I like it. So I picked up 
the Try Wizard Cup. Oh, I'm a Try Wizard champ. I can't even spare. I'm a Try Wizard champion. Unlike poor Cedric Diggory, rest in peace. Um, yes, I bought this plastic Try Wizard Cup. This was fourteen pounds, which great price. You know, you can't go wrong with fourteen pounds. Um, but it's actually really nice. It's got this lovely detail. It's got the Try Wizard. If you can see it, the Try Wizard in the glass it's got this lovely base which can i just say lights up blue <laughs> so it's like glowing yes now this is probably one of the reasons i bought this because yes it's plastic and it's probably a children's toy but it's actually pretty sturdy you know from far away that could legit be like a metal goblet you know a cup so, um, I just thought it was pretty cool and I think it would look nice on my shelves. I don't know where I'm going to stick it. I'm going to have to make some room, but you know, that is pretty cool. Nice little replica. And yes, it's plastic and yes, it was 14 pounds, but who cares? It looks epic. I'm not just kind of sitting, chilling on my, on my shelf. Love it. So I got that with, uh, one of my purchases. I also bought something for my friend for her birthday so I won't show that but pretty cool um and lastly I didn't get much I just got the bare basics um lastly I got a chocolate frog now I already own one of these so I wasn't gonna buy one because they are about £8.95 for a chocolate frog um which is a great price for a frog that's chocolate, okay? Um, yes, but I have seen online that they now have um, Ollivander as the wizard card that's inside. I'm not sure if this is like a limited time thing or if this is, right, this card is now gonna be in there the whole time and it just, I'm, I'm not sure how they're doing it. I can't remember if it was, it's a limited time that you can get Ollivander or if they've now added that as the collection of cards i don't know but um you had to get a pack that had this sticker on so new card inside for 2019 i will open this because i want to see the card and um what to show you really what the card looks like so comes in this mind i have to say the boxes are quite flimsy because it doesn't quite fit in it's like the outside's bigger and I know that's a petty thing to moan about, but it does annoy me a little bit. Um, so here we have the chocolate frog. And then, oh, oh, it jumped away. Oh, it's so cool. Okay, so we have this gigantic, oh my God, chocolate frog. I mean, for your money, that is, at least they don't skimp on the chocolate frog, like the American one which can I say is this tiny thing, which is actually that big. This is the English one, okay? So I I'm not sure how much this was. I got this for Christmas off my nan in a pack. And can I just say the chocolate in it is nasty. I don't know what you made it from, um, wherever this is from. I think this is American one. It looks like the American one. I don't know what you made this from, but it is minging. Okay, I've had this before, not impressed. This, however, I've not actually tried because the other one, the other chocolate frog I bought last year, I haven't eaten yet. So I'm hoping the English version tastes better, but I'm not gonna try it right now because I'm on a diet and I'm not gonna eat that whole thing. That's massive. So maybe next time. But yes, anyway, so then under your gigantic beast of a frog, you've got your wizard card, which looks exactly like the ones in the film, which is so cool. So here we go. Here is Ollivander, Garrick Ollivander, as you call him. Oh, and he moves, look. Oh, hello, what, what are you doing, what are you doing? <laughs> Having too much fun. So you get this lovely, um, Makes a noise. I forgot what that, like the 3D, 
you know what I mean. And then on the back, it has some information about Ollivander. So it says, proprietor of Ollivander's, makers of fine porn since 382 BC. Ollivander believed that the best ones had cause of powerful magical substances, expertly enclosed in spe specially selected and con com blah 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 blah, complementary wand woods. So there you have it. That is the Ollivander card. And also, um, so now I have Ollivander and I have Lockhart. I checked the other day because I thought about it and I was like, I don't even know what my other card is. It's been that long. So I checked the other day and I have Lockhart. I've got Gilderoy, Lockhart and Ollivander now. So it, the collection's coming along. Whether it's going to become an actual collection or if it's going to stay at two, uh, that all depends on how I'm feeling when I go next time. So, yes, that is everything I bought for my trip to the studio tour. Um, I hope you enjoyed the footage. Let me know in the comments who your favourite character is, what wand is your favourite. Also, uh, if you've tried the, uh, the frog, please let me know if it's nice. Is it English chocolate? That's what I want to know. Does it taste nice? Surely they would have used some decent chocolate for £8.95, but who am I to judge what kind of chocolate they use on expensive Harry Potter chocolate? I hope you enjoyed my video and um, let me know if you've been to the tour or if you're planning to go this year. So I hope you enjoyed my video um, and I will see you in my next video, probably for the April geek gear. But yeah, um, I'll see you then. Bye. Um, just a little update um, to add on. I said just now um, that this was the American chocolate frog. That's a lie. Um, because I somehow have two packs of Bertie Bot's Heavy Flavor Beans. And I thought, well, that's weird. They're like really different um, color wise. And this is the American one manufactured by Jelly Belly, made in the USA. This is from Thailand. Um, what my nan got me for Christmas must have been the set. Um, there was like the sweets and I think a little um, random figurine. I got Voldemort. You probably can't see him. He's like behind the minifigures. But anyway, yeah, so I got all of these and they're from Thailand. So actually, the chocolate might be better than the American one. But I mean, I'm not holding that hope because it might still be kind of gross. But I just wanted to, you know, put it out there that sorry it's not american they're from thailand